Tonight, South Koreans are dealing with the aftermath of the country's worst disaster in years. At least 151 people are dead and more than 80 others are injured. After being crushed by a crowd, this happened during Halloween celebrations in Seoul. Yeah, Chris Wolf joining us live from Koreatown now with reaction from community members tonight. Chris? That's right, Rick and Kareen, such a tragic story. Tonight, I spoke with people here in Koreatown who have very strong ties to South Korea, even family and friends over there. Some they have not been able to reach. An evening that started in celebration, ended in chaos and horror in the South Korean capital of Seoul. Tens of thousands of people packed a popular part of town called Itaewon, known for its vibrant nightlife with bars, restaurants, and clubs. They were celebrating Halloween in the area, which is also a hot spot for tourists. But something caused part of the massive crowd to surge into a tight space, an alley, and during the frenzy, dozens and dozens of people succumbed to the suffocating crush. To make matters worse, the alleyway is on a hill, and witnesses say people at the top of the slope started tumbling down onto others below. It's unclear what triggered the deadly wave of human beings, but South Korean media are reporting a large crowd had rushed to a hotel or club after hearing a celebrity was there. Shockwaves are striking the world, including Southern California and Koreatown. The number started climbing, and I had no idea what was unfolding, whether it was a mass shooting. Steve Kang works with the Korean Youth and Community Center. Most of those killed in the catastrophe in South Korea were teenagers and young adults. Kang explains crowds were especially large this year as South Korean government officials lifted COVID restrictions. Seoul is a, a city of 10 million people, and many of the young people thought this was the first major public open space party that they could really enjoy. And I feel, unfortunately, that um, that contributed to this factor. I do have some family and some friends. Uh, I reached out to most of them. I haven't heard back from all of them, but the ones that I've heard from are safe, thankfully. It's really just heart-wrenching to think that, you know, so much life could be lost and so much potential. It really does hit home, yeah. Just number of people there is just not safe. So um, government really needs to step in and have some type of crowd control available. All right, take a look. President Biden released a statement, quote, we grieve with the people of the Republic of Korea and send our best wishes for a quick recovery to all those who were injured. The alliance between our two countries has never been more vibrant or more vital, and the ties between our people are stronger than ever. The United States stands with the Republic of Korea during this tragic time. For now, reporting live in Koreatown, I'm Chris Wolf. KTLA 5 News. All right, Wolfie, thanks for that. And stay with